Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. All right, as you can see today, we're gonna play some AFK Journey. The new season is live. Don't mind the desktop. I just kind of wanted to show you the new launch um, app or something. So this still hasn't changed. Kind of sad. I, I feel like they could have done something different with this. I mean, this is still cute, but it's been a while since we even talked about like Muriel and stuff like that. Or Valen, for that matter. But yeah, alright, let's go. This is the first thing that you open. I have not opened the game since the new, uh, like, season launch, or, like, since the new update. So yeah, we got Alsa. Elsa? Elsa? I'm not quite sure. And the rate up, so she's gonna replace... Who was it before? I'm not... Florabel, right? Yeah, Florabel. She's gonna replace Florabel in the recruitment up thing. Switch to quest squad, sure. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I mean, maybe not right away, but I'll probably do that in this video, though. Alright, let's see. We got an epic recruitment bundle popping up, and then Song of Strife. Okay, let's go. So, yeah, you will need to have a residence level of 240. You need to have completed the FK challenges, and you need to complete the main quest last leg, which is pretty much just finish the story. So, start now, sure. We get these things, which we knew was coming in the event. We're in Hollowstone right now, so let's let's get going with the story, man. I'm excited. All right, let's talk to our boy over here, Hogan. Okay, so this is actually going further about the hypogean that has been released in, like, the last part of the story. But that's interesting. I thought this was gonna be a completely different thing, but it might actually be canon to like the whole game story. So let's let's read up on, uh, like re read a bit here. I'm probably not gonna do every little dialogue, but I'll, I'll kind of explain what's going on. All right. So they're just talking about the hypogene, and now there's something else going on. So let's see. It doesn't seem like good news. Now they bring up the ashen waste, which is of course the new place that we're gonna go to in this uh song of strife season so yeah this is something that we've been teased at as well apparently there's an imposter merlin in the ashen waste but we have never been there yeah if it's a trap or not i think it is indeed time to find this so-called merlin damn yeah, kind of sad so Valen wants to come along but hogan is like nah dude <laughs> you stay right here which is kind of sad because i really like Valen and or Valen, whatever it is man and you don't use him normally because he's really not all that good of a hero to use in combat but i do i just really like his personality so it's unfortunate that he's not gonna tag along okay let's see i just claimed a little reward here so downloading complete resources of the new versions are downloaded or, or a new version tap to confirm and claim all the rewards so that was the only thing i'm just gonna check out my normal dailies a bit right now so these are normal things that i could get uh sure what is this times two thing does it mean oh yeah it just means that i have two attempts three attempts left that is kind of nice because before it said something different like one out of two or like I, that was kind of confusing so yeah just i've kept doing those also something that they said is that you should maybe oh yeah that's something else they added you should maybe up all your equipment to 240 so i'm gonna do that as well all right, nice. So all your equipment has reached level 240. You can convert the remaining equipment resources into other items. So what do you mean with that? Forge, we can get that stuff. And then now, I don't know, <laughs> but that's pretty nice. And then something that they added as well is that you can now check whether or not you can claim a reward for affinity, which apparently I had some characters that I had not claimed affinity rewards from, which is very nice. There was no indication to know um, if you had something waiting for you. So that is very neat that they finally added that. Ooh, okay, let's see, we got some rewards waiting here. So we got the arena rewards, of course, that's just a daily thing. We have the exploration compensation. What is that? Hooray. Um, I th what is this again? I'm not quite sure. We've just uh, we've adjusted the exploration progress rewards in the 1.1.14 version update. We've compensated you for the rewards you've already claimed. Please check your rewards. Oh, that's really cool. 4,500 essence. And we got some nice gestures, which I have never used. And 2,800 gems. Oh, hold on. That's kind of a lot, actually. Okay, thank you for joining us. This is just another uh, all right quest adjustment compensation. Sure. Whatever. I take free stuff every day, baby. Let's go. The server has been updated and maintenance is now complete. By the way, I'm sorry if you hear dogs barking in the background. I can silence them, they won't listen to me, but if you don't hear it, it's fine. If you do, I'm sorry. There's little that I can actually do about it. They're just start again. Yeah, this this is um, the wait time that we got before the patch. It did indeed take a while before I could finally log into the game. But yeah, we're here now, so let's check the um, Noble Path, actually. And I think 
that I can finish it today because I'm only missing a few points. Is there anything weekly that I can do right now? Not really. And even getting these points will not carry me over to this thing. But it did get a little visual update, which I like. And then tomorrow, I'll definitely be able to claim these. Oh, and I just uh, I got just enough of these to summon a new character. All right, Sylvina. Sure, whatever. I'm pretty close to having her at Mythic Plus, even though I never use her. I'm, I think I'm only missing six copies or something. Okay, I'm actually missing ten. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. So we have a daily login event going on for seven days. And at the seventh day right here, you can either choose between a Thorin, a Yuan, a Riss, or a, what is that, Cassidy or something? Yeah, Cassidy. Or you can get 2,500 diamonds. So yeah, th this is going to be an easy... Pick, I'm pretty sure for everyone that doesn't have a mythic Thorin, including me, yet you're probably gonna get a Thorin and then, I don't know, probably like a Yuin or a Cassidy. Riss is, I think, the worst character right here. He might be better now in Song of Strife, I'm not quite sure, we'll have to wait and see for some like videos to come out of Vulcan probably I watched that dude a lot I learned <laughs> I learned a lot from that guy so I'll wait and see what he says like about uh, new characters being stronger than before and stuff like that but uh yeah okay then we also got this daily login which is normal ooh this is something interesting so your server server 41 belongs to district 11 this season this district includes uh, 41 42 43 5 and 8 what happened to six and seven and four actually <laughs> i can't count so where does this apply it applies to arena oh no that says server rankings only okay that makes sense so server rankings only still for arena supreme arena which is something new in the song of strife season is district dream realm they added district rankings and daily district ranking rewards all right um and then arcane labyrinth change from server to district that's fine because there's no like rewards related to those i'm pretty sure and then honor duel chain oh that's fine no one plays honor duel dude um i am interested though can we still play the normal dream realm like is that still a thing it, it does look like it is so this is the normal one i'm pretty sure and then fair play what is fair play man there's a lot of stuff that i'm ju probably just gonna oh you you want to play this probably again until you get 15 victories that's kind of annoying and then the legend trial is still the same they did add something that makes you uh, like allows you to auto battle in these so that's kind of nice but that hasn't been updated really the arena is still the same afk stages is still going to be the same so i'm pretty sure for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upgrade my resonance level here a bit, so convert all of my leftover EXP, get like three or four levels, I think that was three, and let's continue with the quest, I guess. Sorry for keeping you guys here so long, I'm just kind of doing my dailies here. Ooh, okay, we got a little cutscene, some horses dragging a uh, little thing along. All right, this will be your coachman, Alanon. He travels this route often and is very reliable. Okay, greetings. Sir Valen has already explained the situation. All right, great. He'll get us to our destination. Nice. So uh, let's say our goodbyes to Hogan and Valen here, I guess. That's sad. I'm looking forward to... I feel secure knowing that you're here. We will meet again, my friend. Yeah, I, I wish he could come along. I wish we get him... Um, we'll probably get something related to the light bearers, actually. Like a huge chapter. And maybe we'll be able to travel with Hogan then. Hope we will, my friend. Okay, new chapter unlocked. Very nice. Into Dusk's Embrace. I have to say, it did feel a little empty or something. Oh, they're gonna download a little thing. Oh, that didn't take long at all. But yeah, um, it did feel a little empty, not having anything to do for about a week. But I'm glad that we have some new stuff to look forward to. I'm glad I can get back on the grind. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited. This looks great really love the Maulers as well, so I think it's a very cool tribe, and I really love the new characters like, what is it, Elsa, right, Elsa and, um, ah, uh, the other dude, I don't know, he looks cool though, I don't know when we're gonna be able to recruit him, dude, what is up with this guy's accent, <laughs> it's kind of funny though, okay, this is the far as he can take me, sure, that's no problem, man, so not a lot of bu buildings here, I guess, all right, and they have a lot of hospitality towards guests that are passing through. And what if I want to stay around? Do they get aggressive if I want to stay around? What's up with that? Oh, whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what is this? I'm sorry. So we got a new thing. This is uh, one of the new artifacts, even though it looks like the other artifact that we had. Is this one that combines the healing one with the shield one? I don't know. It's interesting, though. So we got some experience. We got some equipment. And, okay, let's see. What if I go to my resonating hall? What level are my characters? Uh, what is this, man? I'm interested. Because I'm going to be kind of sad 
if none of my levels carry over in some capacity. Okay, um, Chippy's gut tells him that the season residence hall has changed. Oh, really? Think so, dude? In the new season, we should focus on upgrading the reason uh, the season residence level to become stronger. Okay, don't worry. The residence synergy level from the starter story will still be valid. Looks like we have enough resources to level up our friends, okay. Seems like you'll need new resources to develop your heroes this season. Look no further than the seasonal content, like the treasures hidden in the new regions and the rewards from season AFK stages. Okay, go ahead and use them on your heroes. Sure, so... I can level some guys up and that only counts for Cecio, okay. I guess I'll, I'll get you a bit higher. I mean, I don't want to get you too high. Because they're still all resonance levels, so I should probably divide this through all my different characters. Oh, shit. I don't have enough resources. Okay, that was very dumb. That that does take me back, though. Like, the time where you were stuck on XP. Like, I'm guessing that there is a variant of Hero Essence here as well, and we'll probably be hitting the cap for that pretty soon. But this is, um, this is pretty funny. Alright, her, there's more. We're getting new sets of class equipment for this season now. That's what I call a thorough preparation. Non-seasonal equipment will still be available. Tap the button in the bottom right to view them. Alright, sure, let's uh, quick equip everything. Oh, that is interesting. We don't even have something for, uh, like, we don't even have all pieces of equipment. Let's take a look at the season artifacts. Season duration, May 10th through, uh, whoa, through September? Okay, this is pretty long, yeah. So, season artifacts only remain effective during the Song of Strife season. Artifacts from the starter story will remain permanently effective in future seasons. Okay, good. New season artifacts are now available. Unlock them for a fresh battle experience. You can still use the artifacts you unlock during the starter story. Tap here to view them. Uh, let's activate, I guess. Light Yule spell. Great, so we got some vitality. I once read upon what, like, what all these stats actually do. I can't remember, but yeah, it seems like we just get some tanky stuff, and we get some some attack, and we get some healing. I'm not gonna read through it, actually. I'm just gonna level it up as much as I can. Uh, should I be doing this? I mean, we have enough money. That's not the issue. But, like, can is there a cap? It's already level 8. I know we can level this up to... Is it, like, 30? Okay, we can get it to 10, and now we need to reach Resonance 80. Okay, great. Whoa, okay, hold up. During the Song of Strife season, challenge six Dream Realm bosses to obtain brand new season rewards. Season rewards are still a limited time and will last until the season ends. Okay, cool. And it's the Lone Gaze boss. Wait, what? He's a Dream Realm thing? Ah, oh, that is really, really cool. I'm already seeing some heroes here that are normally not even good. Like, I see Seth here being used a lot, apparently. Shakir does get some use normally, but yeah, Seth, I've never seen this dude inside of a, a Dream Realm thing. So this is interesting. It seems like I can still use my previous artifacts right here, but I can... Oh, I can also use my Ascensions. So I do have the normal Ascensions. Hold up. Oh yeah, okay. So the Ascensions I keep, that is very interesting. All right, all right, all right. That's that's good. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. I probably expected that, but uh, yeah, let's see. I'm just going to pop in some dudes. I really don't care right now, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's just buff them a bit. Probably know what you want to do, but you know what? I don't care. I'm not good at making these formations. I'm just going to like watch a YouTube video from someone else a bit later in the day and hopefully get some better stuff. Also, I just started, so my levels are really low. Maybe I'll get like 20% here. I'm not sure. Yep, so we got 20. I don't think I'm going to get much more. Although, yeah, I don't know. Odie died. Sees you still alive. She's going to do some damage. Yeah, okay. We'll get 30. Not 40, though. Yeah, I got killed by the big bad wolf. But as I said, we were going to get 30%. And let's take a look at the rewards that we got here. So we do actually get some dream um, dream fragments. That is good. What is this stuff? Season S. Oh, okay. This is season essence. So this is the stuff that we need to, I guess, get higher than level 10, you know? All right. Wow. 144. Not a lot of people are playing, I think, because that was... That, that seemed pretty horrible damage-wise. Ooh, and we get some compensations right here as well. I don't know what we got compensated for. Something about quests. Yo, as long as I get free stuff, I don't care, man. No way. There's a secret travelog for this thing as well. Oh my god, am I gonna have to buy that? Oh, I am, am I not? I have legit been sitting here for like 10 minutes, I think. Okay, maybe not 10, but like 5. Just debating on what I should do now, or like what I'm gonna do with this Noble Path thing. Because for this one, it ends in 30 days. It was 3 months long, so that has 12, uh, well, euros for me. 
every three months and this season is gonna last for 30 60 90 one like about 120 so about four months and i don't think like are they gonna do something different it it shows like five uh, five things right here and for the moment i don't see myself quitting this game soon like i'm really enjoying it i'm looking forward to like updates and stuff like that and you can definitely like with this one the normal noble path i would have been done in time for this season and probably still had a few days left like without even buying the noble path like it was definitely not necessary for me to do so but it just feels nice to get some quicker progression than everybody else just end up a little bit higher on the rankings uh, especially for dream realm so you can kind of mix out this little soul gem right here because right now i i've only gotten top 10 four times which is really not a lot probably because i also just haven't been pushing that much but also because i bought my noble path kind of late like you definitely get the most value out of it if you get it sooner because you can upgrade your character sooner which means you can progress quicker oh wow we got fifty-five thousand of these where, where where did i get those all right whatever i'm gonna level these up offline probably because i don't i don't think i'm gonna progress by the way for anyone that is still here waiting for some story i'm not really gonna do the story i'm just really here to kind of see what stuff is new so i've seen that the supreme arena is only available when you hit the afk stage 130 and duros trials which is something i think related to um like the classes so you have like marksman you have support you have tank I think you can only play with those specific classes in this. I'm not sure, but that only unlocks when you beat the 305th AFK stage. So right now, I've kind of already shown you everything new in the season. There's a few things in the overworld that there's new, like there's some new puzzles, but it's probably going to be most fun to just figure that out on your own. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a, um, a bit of a, how, how do I say it? Like just a video that is kind of all over the place but i wanted to make it because i was really excited and i still am and i think i'm gonna buy the noble path but i'm gonna i'm gonna think about it a, li a little bit i think i will it just doesn't feel right you know like i was kind of expecting me to buy this thing not having to buy anything else for three months so now if i buy this i'm like okay sure but i don't have to buy anything else for 114 days but then looking at these three things that are still open right here, some stuff might overlap. They might release new noble paths that I will then probably have to buy because at that point I feel obligated to. But yeah, whatever. I'm not addicted. I can stop whenever I want. But right now, I think I'm just going to buy the path. But yeah, I'll probably show that to you in the next video. I'm going to make maybe an update in like about a week from now and see where I am. Or maybe when I unlock the Supreme Arena, I'll make a video. And then when I unlock the dura trials i'll make a video oh you know what i'll do guys i promised you this in the beginning of the video that i will recruit elsa so let's recruit for elsa that's actually something pretty fun she is i think going to be pretty good so yeah let's take a look here are we gonna get really lucky um i don't <laughs> i don't think we are maybe you never know no that's one purple that is actually horrendous well whatever let's see what is our purple guy Oh, Merrily. All right, that is the best purple guy that we could have gotten. So I don't mind one bit. Okay, wait, uh, hold up a second here. How many are we away from the pity? 29. So let's keep going. All right, let's see here how many are going to pop up. Just one purple again. If it's another Merrily, it's Corrin. Okay, sure. Corrin does get some use. Again, he might not with a new season. I'm going to have to watch some videos, guys, because... Uh, Okay, and that's gonna be another purple, so I believe we are at the pity right now. Although, I th like, how, how far are we away? We're nine away. If we do them one by one, it costs the same, right? So yeah, it just co it costs the same. So let's actually do them one by one until we get the gold thing to pop up. So this is gonna be one. Alright, that's just a green. Not important. One more, let's go. Ooh, okay, we got a purple good who's the purple friend oh let's go dude that is so good man another Mary Lee. okay that's great i'm already kind of happy that we got two Mary Lees here that's just a green one it's gonna be a little hamster boy bringing us some omni acorns oh another purple though nice arden okay i don't use this guy but he's uh he's decent i guess Right, that's a blue one and then i'm actually gonna quit out for a second because okay four more let's see there's still a chance there's still a chance for sure 
Uh, that's blue. No, I don't want to skip every animation. So that was a blue boy. Three more. We got a green boy. Ah, all right. Unfortunate. And we got another green boy. So with that, we're going to get our um, Elsa or Salsa, I wanted to say. But we're going to get to the Elsa, unfortunately, with the pity. But yeah, let's bear the way for the future together. Pretty cool. I don't know what she is. Is she an armadillo? <laughs> I, I don't know. She's cute, though. She's cute. I definitely like her. So yeah, there she is. I damn, I really like the, this character. She she seems like a little annoying girl. Wait, what are does she have? Uh, like shark teeth? Hold up. I don't know. I don't know. Her mouth reminds me of um, Denji from Chainsaw Man. I don't know why, but she looks like some kind of anime uh, girl that is like really close to the protagonist or something. I don't know. I've been watching a bit too much anime as of late. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you actually enjoyed the video. If you didn't really get the time to explore all of these things today yourself, um, I hope you got something out of it. I just really, I, I was personally really excited to kind of see what was new. So um, I'm going to explore this just at my own pace a bit right now and uh, enjoy it. But yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed making this video as well. So I hope you did. If you want to see more stuff like this, as I said, I'll probably do some videos related to the Supreme Arena and Juris Trials when I unlock those. But if you want to see some other stuff, definitely let me know. And, uh, and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe as well, of course. So yeah, with that being said and done, I'll see you in the next one. All right, later. Bye. Mm -hmm.